Franklin. That was one of the things I loved. I still can remember driving down Franklin Road and seeing the horses at Harlonsdale. And it's one of the reasons, actually, we moved here, was seeing all of that and then learning the history of it. And, um, and that's part of what got me back into horses, was just seeing them around. There's so many horses and horse people in Franklin and Middle Tennessee. I started riding when I was about Aaron's age, and I rode all through uh, middle school and high school. And then I um, went off to college, and I thought, well, that was fun, and that was the end of that. And I, I rode sporadically, and then I started riding again four years ago when Aaron started riding. And so we take lessons and trail ride and compete. I love it because it's something that we really um, can do together. You know what I, lo I love about horses for her and it, all kids, I think they really teach you compassion and they teach you responsibility and they teach you a lot of self-assurance because for an eight-year-old girl to walk into a field full of horses and be able to put his halter on right, and lead him out by herself and then groom him and put his saddle on, you have to learn a lot of responsibility right, and a lot of self-confidence to do that. I think some kids are just born horse crazy and she's one of them. And, and my best friend. Mm -hmm. It's such a unique kind of park to have horses and have them accessible to people and be able to have competitions that people can come and ride and, and it's so close to downtown. I think it's a really unique park and um, it'll really bring a lot to Franklin I think for people to drive down Franklin Road and see Harlansdale and maybe be um, enticed to pull in and find out what that's all about and read about Midnight Sun and the Tennessee walking horse industry that really um, started here in Franklin.